Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, we're back with episode two of the Spanish campaign. And uh, from where we left off, we left off in a reasonably uh, pretty good spot, to be honest. We have, um, although we are losing bureaucracy, I just started incorporating the states in Africa, like uh, these three states. But uh, I am I'm, I'm building uh, some uh, government buildings, so we'll, we'll be fine after that. And money, well, I just have to raise the taxes, the main money. We're always gonna make money. My economy is just, economy is pretty good right now. I don't think I'll ever uh, have trouble with our economy if we just keep this up. But our uh, GDP has really, very, very much grown in the past, uh, the past recent years. Past like 10 years, it's grown a lot. 10, 10, 10, seven years, 10, I don't know, something like that. But we has grown very very much a lot my goals for this video is to possibly expand my my control or my colonies in africa so like possibly puppet morocco and take more states for this colony down here like in Sakota or dahomey uh and possibly even get over into uh vietnam which would be nice or currently what's called dynam so but i want to get like Mekong and Cambodia or like or just Mekong because I think uh, there are some Good resources that can spawn here like like I think I think I said in the first episode like rubber So rubber would be, would be nice to get from here and also when I conquer these guys the Mandano and uh, Yeah, just conquer these conquer that little country. Yeah, I guess I'm um, just gonna start I'm pause the game here I should have paused it earlier. I, I got a long long queue up, but this is this is for a good investment this is for good things. We're gonna get some nitroglycerin now. Nitroglycerin is oh so good. It's so good. If you don't get nitroglycerin, then you're just a fool. But you also need to watch out and make uh, dynamite or explosives, which I'm all I'm already doing. I think, I think how smart I am. I don't, yeah, I don't think the Prussians are having a, a problem with the the Russians at all, because we can see that the uh, although in this battle it is like they have less offense, but they're still winning. Which is interesting, but I, I, yeah, I think the uh, the Prussian army is pretty pretty strong. Wait, what? How the Portuguese are now in the Persian market? How does that make any sense? That's very interesting. Yeah, they're in the Persian market now. That's funny. Now we have finished uh, nitroglycerin, and we will now move on to railways. And after railways, we'll just we'll just keep going down from here. Actually, I might actually I might invest into my military tax. I think I'm a little behind on that. So, because I think my economy is fine for now, because so, I'll, I'll just build up more buildings and have that. So I can just get the railways and I'm just gotta focus on my military. Military is uh, the tech, I only at least get like all the tier two techs. Whoops. So like all field works, uh, triage, I don't know. How do you say, how do we say that? But all these techs and uh, modernize our military a little bit because we are we are a little behind on that, so. It'll be worth it just to get through that some of those texts. Oh wait, and now it looks like the uh, the French have lost their market and uh, or has lost the almonds the in North A in parts of North Africa in their market. So I, I don't know what happened there. I guess they ended the custom union or uh, whatever. I think it was like a protectorate or something. In this in this timeline, we also have Egypt holding Constantinople, which is uh, very very interesting. Although we do have chairs, we do have chairs. Uh, supplied and we have actually a surplus of chairs we don't have many clothes so we got we got naked people sitting on furniture this is great and just as I thought Italy did form from Sicily since their capitals in Naples that's a nice looking Italy not gonna lie I like the board it's like smooth it's kind of like smooth but like they still need uh Lombardy and Venetia what are you doing Italy you gotta get those man you're slow you're slacking you're slacking on it but uh i think now might be a good time to go to war with portugal because i just improved relations with austria and persia mainly austria is the, the main person here austria could have a possibility of joining and they're also in a war so it's actually the perfect time they're actually a war with prussia hold on let's do this make puppet and yeah these guys will join me if this doesn't work out then oh well great britain prussia Belgium, okay. Okay, pressure's gone now. Okay, well, they're not guaranteed to join. So I hope this goes quick before they join. If they do join. Okay, improve really. Okay, yeah, France was pretty. Um, or not France. Prussia, we had we had poor relations with Prussia. Okay, Belgium has joined their side, but that's fine. I don't, I don't, I don't need Belgium. I, I do not need Belgium. 
or no, Belgium does not matter. We got a little bit left. Come on, please, please. I have my uh, heads together. I'm praying. I'm praying no one joins. Because if no one joins, we're good. All right, we're fine. Mobilize everyone. Let's get, uh, what general? Oh, you're good. Oh, you had good defense. Good offense, too. Yes. Okay, we're looking good. We might be able to pop in Portugal. This is actually really, uh, this is working out. All right, we should, since we have medical aid, I think we should be all right. How are we losing to the Persians, man? I have a, I have a 50 advantage against them, and I'm losing. Are you serious? Okay, I'm winning this one. I'm winning. This is good. We're winning against the Persians this time. Okay, the morale's deteriorating. Okay, this is a win right here. Another battle here. Hey, we're winning again against the Persians. Let's go. Another battle. Oh, this is for Lisbon. And I'm winning. It's the Persians again. Oh, yes. Oh, they're agreeing to it. Hey, let's go. I pump in Portugal. Let's go, man. It's so good. Oh, look at that. Now we have all of Iberia. I can probably form uh, Ibe our Iberia now. Now I need pan-nationalism. Okay, when I, when I get that, I'll have uh, all of Portugal. All right, I'll take Portugal. Look at this. This is so good. I'm getting so much money from the diplomatic pack, right? 10,000 almost, which is very nice. Very nice. And now you have landed voting. Dude, I've been trying to pass this this uh, this law forever, for ages, and now we finally have it. So I can finally get elections in our country now. So now after, I might get... Uh, well, no, multiculturalism is really, is pretty good. Going multiculturalism actually is pretty, pretty strong. So we have less discrimination, uh, in our country. So, yeah, I might, I might do this. I hope that passes soon. It probably won't because the last law took forever to pass. I had 40% on the law and it wouldn't pass. And actually, you gotta let my cat in my room. Hold on one second. Cat, are you alright? Cat's free. Cat is free. Why is it blowing off my screen? And not only with, uh, I think I just talked about it, but now we have all these colonies now. My, I, I just grew probably double in size. Not double in size, but like, you get what I mean. I, I grew. I, I, I got, became, uh, I grew up. I went from baby boy to bigger boy. Oh, look like, uh, looks like multiculturalism has passed so so much faster than the, the, than the land base. Or what was it again? Landed voting. Yeah, land, landed voting. Now we should do uh, per capita taxation, which is so much better than uh, land based. And look, I'll get 80,000 cash from this. <laughs> oh my gosh, 80,000, 80,000. I'm, I'm gonna be able to build, oh my gosh. I'm gonna be able to have so much, oh, oh my God, you can't, oh mama. And we are now officially number eight great power in the world, just behind Italy. We do have more people and a, 10 and much higher GDP than them, but I think it's because of the prestige that we're behind. Which is kind of sad. I feel like that, I feel like if you have a higher GDP and population, you should be able to have uh, a behead. I think it's because my army's not strong, or my not, army's not modernized enough. I still have line infantry instead of skirmish, which I should build skirmish. So I'm gonna build some munitions plants. And apparently this is the most productive cotton plantation, or I have the most cotton plantations in the world. All right, the most, I have the most productive cotton plantation in the world. This is very nice. And we now have trains as well. Look at that, we have Spanish trains. Where are they at? No, where are the trains at? Oh, there's a train. Yeah, choo choo. That's so cool. We now have a, uh, an average middling uh, standard of living now, which is pretty, which is very good, very good. And I wanna look at the migration too, because I've seen a lot of migration to my country. Yeah, there's a lot of migration to my country. Not much. Migration to the Portugal, understandably so, because we just blew it up not too long ago. We now have per capita taxation. Look how much money I'm making now, 55,000. And I have the taxes, because I have so much money. I'm gonna build a lot of construction sectors. So I'll just build till I can't build no more. Oh man, there's so many construction sectors. I think it goes on the next page. Yeah, just that one. Dude, I'm gonna have so much construction now. It's actually gonna be actually crazy. Actually, I think I might switch over to iron frame buildings. I am gonna need a lot of iron and tools, but it'll be less fabric and less wood. So I think it'll be worth it. I'm making a lot of money now, so if I lose money, it'll be fine. But let's just see how much this will improve our situation with our construction. Yeah, I'm gonna lose a lot of iron. Surprisingly, not as many tools as I thought, but I think we should uh, build iron 
right now. All right, let's get these built first because we're gonna need a lot of them. Oh, look how fast we're building too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my god. I wonder if the uh, the buildings look different. Since iron construction, I don't think it does though. But I know we are building it much faster though. Oh yeah, we're the number one. This is the most, okay, it was. The second most productive iron mines in the world. Or I, I have the second most, third most pro uh, productive iron mines in the world. Well, that's that's good. And we're producing 14 buildings at a time. We're constructing 14 buildings at a time. I'm 242 construction limit. Yeah, 14 const yeah, 14 projects. I could have just looked up here instead of reading. I'm done. It's actually crazy. I wonder if you can see the iron mines there. Oh yeah, you can definitely see it. Look at these patches here. That's cool. You can see all like the details in there. That's so neat, man. The details in this game is actually amazing. Our cities are getting bigger. Look at Madrid is ginormous. Valencia is also pretty big too. Barcelona is huge as well. Oh my gosh. And all the Portugal cities are tiny. And my GDP is just going up again. Oh, it's going up, dude. Look at that. After complete, after constructing all those iron mines, we have went to a surplus of 700 iron. And actually, I think that's where I'm going to leave it off for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this economic explosion in my country. Look at this. We're still, we're on the rise. We're on the rise currently. And I'm thinking I might reach 60 mil February of the next year in this game. So it'll be like two months, two and a half months. And we did pass the Prussians in GDP, which is actually funny. I think it's pretty hilarious. We passed the Prussians in GDP. That's And that's crazy. Mexico or America has, still hasn't fought the Mexicans yet. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like, subscribe, and love you. Bye.